Hello Aries, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a quick general reading for you. Something that you're not expecting, but it would benefit you to expect it. These are going to be general, and if you'd like something personal, you can check out the description. I have a few different options for personal insight. But let's see. Aries, one more time. So what's going on for Aries that they don't expect, but it would benefit them to be aware of it. The High Priestess. Okay, so something with your abilities. You could be going through upgrades or you're tapping into your abilities. You could also be having quite a bit of dreams. Okay. Your intuition is heightened right now. Okay, show me more. For Aries, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so you're like getting gifts um, with your intuition because you're giving to others or you're helping others or you're help yeah you're helping others with something. So you could be helping others with you could be using your gift to help others. Um, you also could be just helping people like in your everyday life. Like it doesn't have to be necessarily that you're doing energy work, but you're you're just helping people. You're listening to them. Um, you're giving them good advice. You're giving them balanced advice too. Like you have really good advice. <laughs> you're very, very good at that. Um, you're very giving to people in general. Like people that you see need help, you help them. And your gift is like um, enhancing. It could be because of this. It's like this work that you're doing, this um, like humanitarian work that you're doing is like really... Um, it's aiding your gift somehow. Like it's like really um, amplifying your gift. You're getting a lot of positive energies, positive karma. Like you're acting out of a place of love. You're acting from your heart, your heart chakra. Your heart chakra is um, glowing right now. Yeah, for sure. Um, there's even, I know it's like so minuscule, but I'm so focused. His boots are green. And then all the green trees in the background too. Um, wow, yeah, like even the throat chakra, the solar plexus the root chakra you help people ground you also you could be like a Reiki healer of some kind or you do some chakra work of some kind <laughs> I'm being thought I'm like thinking of like the chakra um, the crystal bowls um, uh, what are those is that what they're called crystal healing bowls crystal sound bowls those things that they do for those meditations, you know, uh, you could do that. That could be something that you do. Um, beautiful energy though. Like it seems like, like you're a really wonderful energy worker, whether you know it or not. Okay. Show me more for Aries. Show me more for Aries. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, you're being blessed majorly because of the work you're doing. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> it's such awesome energy. Like this is so much abundance. This is so much success, and you're building something. You're building a community, like a community, or like a. I almost want to say you're building like a fan base or something. Like you could be doing this publicly. You could be doing energy work publicly um, on the internet of some or, or something like that. But you're helping people, and it's it's really it's it's helping you you helping others is helping you um you're manifesting like such beautiful things for yourself you also help people go get on the path or you help people realign with their path to the ten of pentacles as well it's like you're yeah you're helping people um i want to say i keep wanting to say that you help them ground but you help them realign with their path you you balance something out you I don't know you could you could even be into like spell work or something like you do like really um, beautiful positive spells for people um, that don't <laughs> intrude on anyone's free will um, but yeah you do like you help them uh, you could even help them learn how to do their own spell work or how to do their own like self-care spells or something like that like you you kind of you you're an energy worker <laughs> of some kind <laughs> of some kind yeah beautiful energy you're moving towards the ten of pentacles 
something's turning out way better. If you are like starting a practice, it's going to um, grow quite a bit. Um, the, the, it feels like maybe this is where you're at right now with the Six of Pentacles, like where you're able to give, like you're like things are off the ground a little bit or things are moving or you're able to do energy work as a career or something. But it's like from that to the Ten of Pentacles, it's like things are amplifying, things are enhancing, things are um, growing is what I keep wanting to say. Like things are getting bigger or your um, the group of people that you're working with is getting bigger, the, the company is getting bigger, the the work you're doing is getting bigger or on a larger scale. Okay, what else um, does Aries need to be made aware of? What else does Aries need to be made aware of? For the most high vibrational timeline possible for them. <laughs> That's it, you're doing great. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You're just doing awesome. <laughs> Nothing else to know, Aries. Alrighty, what's going on with Aries? What else is happening for Aries that they should be aware of or expect? Queen of Cups. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Those like flipped over in such an odd way. Okay, so with the Queen of Cups here, this is like definitely like you have a healed heart chakra or you're doing something with the heart chakra or you, there's so much love coming from you. It's like you just like have so much love for others and so much caring energy for others, so much mothering energy for others. Like, yeah, that's some serious, beautiful, divine, feminine energy, even if you're not female, even even if you don't identify as female. It's about like the that healed energy of like caretaking and but it's it's not just caretaking like for like like a child or anything. It could be that too, but it's also like caretaking for like others energy like you're healing others it's like such beautiful feminine energy i just like love it so much so much beautiful energy with the queen of cups like this is just like a serious message that you're like on the right path we have the world and the devil here that i want to clarify cycle change going on with something um someone could be going through like like another level of e ego death or or there's some divine test of from a past cycle that you have conquered already that um, might be tempting you, might be trying to tell you that you're not doing the right thing, or something. Something's trying to convince you that something you're doing something wrong. Yeah, it's like you're you're trying. You're um, someone might be trying to convince you that you're trying to hold you back in some way they're trying to get you to stop <laughs> um but otherwise with the world and the devil it's like what that's making me feel like is like you're helping people through karmic cycles or you're helping people through ego deaths you're helping people through um big changes in their life you're helping people um i want to say conquer the devil <laughs> conquer the devil um you're helping people like overcome their ego essentially overcome their negative thoughts thought patterns and negative belief systems and negative habits even. Yeah, you're helping people go through changes. Um, whatever energy work you do, it's super powerful, it's super beneficial, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, this is some serious beautiful energy, beautiful work that you're doing. I want to say I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I don't know you, but I, I want to say I'm so proud of you. So maybe there's um, an energy around you that is really proud of you and wants you to know that they're really proud of you. You could have really overcome some serious, um, I want to say emotional turmoil or traumatic situations that you've been through. You are a high priestess. So beautiful. <laughs> I feel so much love for you, Aries. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, that's that's all I'm going to get for today. Um, but yeah, again, thank you for joining me. Lots of luck going through your situation and lots and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye.